Yes, my people, welcome back to another Liquid Alert. This is a quick news update to let you know that the WBC has ordered two big bouts as mandatory fights going forward. The first of those is on screen right now, and this is from Michael Benson, thanks to him. The WBC have now officially ordered Deontay Wilder versus Andy Ruiz Jr. as a final eliminator to determine the next mandatory challenger for Tyson Fury's WBC heavyweight title. Now look, this doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get this fight. We still need both parties to agree the contracts and all that stuff. However, in order for one of these guys to become the mandatory challenger for that belt, which I'm sure they both want to do, these guys are going to have to fight in 20. 23. This is a fight a lot of people want to see because it's a very good stylistic matchup. You've got the heavy hands of Deontay Wilder, that incredible right hand like we saw against Hellenius, and you've got the skill and craftsmanship and pure Mexican boxing style of Andy Ruiz Jr., who we saw last time out against Ortiz. So this is a fight a lot of people want to see, myself included, and I cannot wait, and I'm so excited to say that we are probably going to see this in 2023 and hopefully both parties can agree the contractual uh, terms and conditions of this fight. Let me know guys who you think is going to win this fight. I personally think the power of Deontay Wilder might hold true and come through in this fight but imagine if we get another and i don't know what this says about the state of the wbc ranks we get another fight between fury and wilder in the future part of me although i love deontay wilder wants andy ruiz jr to win this one just so we can get something different and give tyson fury a new and different challenge although i have my reservations about how much of a problem andy ruiz jr can cause to tyson fury given the physical, the height and the reach disadvantage he would have in that fight. But moving on swiftly, and as I get this up, do let me know in the comments what you think, who you think is going to win that fight. We've also got another tweet from Michael Benson because we've got another fight that's been ordered, although we don't know necessarily who is going to uh, compete in this one yet against Canelo Alvarez in the super middleweight division. Here we are. The WBC have now officially approved David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant, uh, which is planned for March 2023 as the final eliminator to determine the next mandatory challenger for Canelo Alvarez's WBC super middleweight title. Fight is already for Benavidez's WBC interim belt. So this is the final eliminator for a belt against one of the pound for pound best Canelo Alvarez. We've already seen Caleb Plant versus Alvarez, which although Caleb did a good job up until those later rounds, ultimately Canelo had five far too much power for him and was just better on the day to be honest and for that reason I'm saying this now guys although I quite I like Caleb Plant and I'd like to see him do well against David Benavidez I kind of hope we get Benavidez winning this one and therefore we can get a bout between Alvarez um, and Benavidez in maybe late 2023 or if not early 2024 but this is big news guys because that means next year or maybe early 2024 we're going to get two big big fights one between Deontay Wilder um, and Andy Ruiz Jr and then of course we've already got Caleb Plant versus David Benavidez but then we will also get Canelo Alvarez versus one of those two um, and also we might get Tyson Fury against the winner of Wilder and Ruiz Jr. Assuming he wants to defend his belt and assuming he wants to keep that title. So look, these are two huge fights, guys. Two huge fights. I cannot wait. Um, who do you reckon wins, though? Who do you reckon wins David Benavidez versus Plant? Who do you reckon then wins the, chat, uh, the title fight between those guys and Canelo Alvarez? Let me know in the comments below. And also Wilder and Ruiz Jr. This is good news for boxing because I feel like this needs to happen more where the sanctioning bodies and, and the ones that rule the belts, they need to step in more and make these mandatory challenges and, and make these big fights more... Um, more of a pressing issue. Get it done quicker. Give them six months to get this done. That's what I want to see. I think that's what boxing needs. We need stricter timelines on when these mandatory um, mandatory fights happen. Uh, and it doesn't happen enough for me across all of it. WBC, IBF, IBO, WBA. And I'm just so glad that they've come out and made this official. But let me know, guys, what do you make of these fights? Are you excited as I am? I cannot bloody wait. 
It's been a great year for boxing, but it can get better, and this will help to do that. But that is all I wanted to say, guys. Get your comments below, get your thoughts below, and also like the video if you haven't already. This has been another Liquid Alert. I will see you in the next one. Peace out, brothers and sisters. And thank you, Michael Benson. Oh, and just quickly, Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Deontay Wilder. <laughs> there we go. I think that's Naruto. I don't know. I probably got that wrong, and everyone's going to hate me. See you later, guys.